I'm going to Finland in four days and I need to bulletproof my game after taking four weeks off. I played yesterday and found out that my favorite clubs still work. That's a relief. So in this round, we'll take the two, seven and nine iron, pitching and sand wedges again. But we'll add the driver on confident looking holes. We'll also add in five, six and eight iron, plus the lob wedge. Are these all needed? Not really. But just in case we play courses over 6,500 yards in Finland, it's good to know okay. if we can hit a Beautiful driver shot. and six iron. Thank you. Finland's going to probably have bent grass, so that's going to be a challenge, but putting is putting. The biggest challenge will be wind and cold. And also I need to take with me a game that I can just get the ball in play and actually play a good game. Because at the moment, I'm not sure what's coming out. So I'm going to show you how I fall back on certain shots and different ways of hitting shots so that I can actually just get the ball around the course instead of frustratingly spray it everywhere with clubs that I'm not sure how the ball's going to go. Okay, now depending on the length of the course in Finland, I'm going to have to use a lot of four irons and two irons off the tee as, as often as possible. Course and brain management is always important. I need to ingrain keeping the ball in play off the tee using shots I know how to hit in the moment and keep oh. that chipping game low to the oh. ground. I'll try free my arms during the round to get a bit more loose to increase the distance I hit the ball. We don't want to play in Finland and the UK with short tense swing the whole trip. Okay, so we've got to get the chipping game around the green good. It's going to be very different grass. This is soggy cow grass, which I will definitely not see in Finland. But the chip is kind of the same. I've just got to, you know, focus on my landing spot, regardless of the grass, and just make sure I can hit that landing spot, then I'll guarantee success. Okay. So these three footers are going to be basically the same. Anywhere we go. And this is where you've got to keep it strong. Because this saves so many shots if you just don't miss these. And I think on bent grass, probably a little easier because it's much smoother with less grain. So this one is just on the right, but if it were bent, I'd probably just jam it dead straight. I'm gonna go back to the four iron because the two iron, I'll get my way with it. It's, it's a quite a tough one to hit if you haven't played a lot. So we're gonna try the four iron, it's a par five. I'm not gonna hit it in two today anyway. Into the breeze and the driver hits the water. So let's hit the four, get a few good strikes under our belt. We're going to take this with us overseas. Now you'll see sometimes I abbreviate the follow through on some of the shots. I just feel like it helps me to keep that club face a bit squarer. One of the go-to shots I use is I'll kind of just like close the face a bit and hit down it and abbreviate the follow through, kind of like a punch shot, just because I know that's going to keep the ball in play. I'm bulletproofing my strategy and it can seem difficult if you can't hit the ball where you want. You might need to bulletproof your swing. That's where the Swing Tweaks app has made such a big difference for a lot of players. It's so easy to get tailored assistance with your swing straight to your phone. Download the app, record a video of your swing, submit it and let them know intimate details about your golf game. A PGA professional will assess your swings and give you specific drills and ideas to improve your swing. All feedback is stored in the app forever, so it's like having a pocket coach at the range. Bulletproof your wallet with swing tweaks, as each tweak is a fraction of the price of an in-person lesson. Download using the link in the description and use code PLAYERS to get 20% off your first tweak oh, now. Yeah. It's like Kevlar for your golf game. Now here's a little shot that, it's not that tough. Normally I'll just putt this because I know that it's just gonna skip over this first bit and start rolling on the fringe in the green. So I can normally get the speed right. But here's a little shot. We could probably even go down to a nine iron. It's a Paul Runyon chip. So what you do is instead of chipping low, because the lower you hold the club, the more you're going toward the center of the club face. Uh, if you hold it higher up and change to your putting stroke and lift your hands up as if you are putting. Now we're going to try chip this off the toe. Watch how softly it lands and rolls out without too much trouble. And it's a very easy shot because all you have to do is just take your normal chipping, change your grip to your putting grip, move the club up as if you're going to putt, line up the toe of the club to the ball 
and just take a putting stroke, no wrists, and just try to pop it over the fringe there. Let's try land it on a landing spot. So that normally works out like that. I mean, I don't play it that often, and you can get very yippy with it, and it still works. I'm going to hit a little 170 yard 7 iron here. And I know I'm going to be okay with it. I'm going to hood the face a little bit and eye the pin or just the left edge of the green there just to stay out of these bunkers. If it goes a little low, that's fine. It could get a little bit more distance just with that hooded face. But I feel like that's a safe shot until I get my full swing confidence. Yep, perfect. Now, as part of bulletproofing my game, I don't want to come and play complicated shots to chip the ball. I want to play the most simple shot I possibly can. And in this instance, it looks like a Runyon style chip. Let's just lift our hands up, putting style, off the toe, nice and aggressive, okay? Let's make sure we get it on the green. See, that's very simple and easy to do. Something delicious. Yeah, just soften up the grip a little bit. And then nearly shank it. <laughs> we need to get this little putting, this little chipping game under control. This is very easy on a bent grass course, maybe a putt. I mean, there's not much around the green unless they have rough around the fringe in Finland, which I'm not sure. And if they do, I'm going to practice a little chip and run, maybe a five or seven iron, Runyon style chip. So we're going with a five iron. There we go, a little five iron chip ski. Just works. Okay, Katie, let's have the putter there. Let's tap it in. Let's tap it in for the boyfriends, you know, and the Karens, otherwise. You don't miss your pet, you're gonna make a baby, 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 baby. Now on a hole like this where I'm not that comfortable on the tee, you know, I've got to go into my comfort zone. We've got to get in the comfort zone. We can't go hitting something we're not sure of. I mean, a two iron is pretty safe, but four iron is much safer. I'm probably going to leave myself an insanely long shot, but you know, let's get the ball in play. Priority number one. And remember, there's lots up on the left side. There's a lot up there. Perfect, mate. Front of the green, 174. Am I going to hit a 5 iron today? No, I'm going to hit a confidence 6 iron, leg hook. And if we hit the green, we're happy. And if we're short or short left, just on the front edge, we're also very happy. We're not going to take a 5 iron because we don't know how the skank is going to come out. And what? Always way left on this hole. Okay. Yes. okay, now we have a tough chip. We're above the hole onto a down slope, kind of side slope. So we want to favor the left side. We don't want to favor the right side because it's going to take the ball down and leave you uphill right to left. I'd rather have an uphill straighter putt from the left side. So that's important to know. And we need to carry this about 50% of the way and then let it roll out 50%. I think I'm going to take the 56. I'm going to do my, runion, my runionized chip. It's a, you know, it's also nice for skanky lies. You know, this is a, this is a elephant grass, cow grass lie, crab grass, and it's not nice to chip from. So, potentially this could work from here. But we've got to get very aggressive because it's a longer carry, maybe eight nine yards, and then another eight nine yards to the hole. So let's get real aggressive. Make sure we hit the green. Okay, we got nice and lucky there because I wanted to favor more the left side because if it was a quicker green, then it leaves that shot that I was talking about, side slope, right to left, uh, up the hill. We're happy there. We've got about three and a half feet for the par. What I'd like to show you is from an amateur perspective, you can see my scores on the channel, sometimes good, sometimes bad, but never really stellar golf. And that's the thing. It's boring golf. Stellar golf is for the pros. You can score very easily, just chipping the ball around the course, getting the short game in order.
Oi. Come on, confident swing, buddy. That's a bit more confidence, a bit higher shot. Not sure where it finished, but that's a good start to see some beautiful high shots because the low shots are just what I'm using to keep the ball in play. Like Gary Player says, challenge. Can we do a Runyon style chip on this one? You know what? Let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. No, can't do it. Can't do it, players. We need a proper chip from there. Okay. Oh, damn. Well, it's a par five, and the truth is I'm not going to hit it in two shots today, ever really, because it's got that water right in the middle of the fairway there that splits the hole. And to get to stop just before that is tricky, and then the approach shot is all over water on the second shot. So just hit the four, because if I hit the two, not as reliable, but the four is very reliable, just get it in play. It's a three-shotter anyway. Matty? Now we've got some distance back. Just free the arms up, getting a bit more confidence. Really. Wow, we're getting the confidence, but that was a terrible strike. <laughs> I think I've left myself a lot into the green. The there. biggest challenges in Finland and the UK will be much lower temperatures. It's been 40 degrees Celsius, about 105 freedom degrees in Thailand for six weeks. The grass will be very different and there may be a lot more wind than Thailand. We'll learn as we go and have a great time on the motherland soil. Whatever happens, we will make new memories in a place I never thought I'd go. What a player shorts, sponsor of this video. If you need a pair of shorts, elasticated waistband with, with belt loops, if you really need it at the country club, with a very flexible elasticated waistband, so you can go up or down two sizes in one size. I'm wearing size 34 here, but I could get away with a tight 32 or a loose 36 with a drawstring inside. Yes, you heard that right, drawstring inside. Moisture wicking fabric, absolutely stunning. Get them. Whataplayergolf.com. Yep, on the left side. Beautiful day. What a beautiful day. Yeah. Beautiful. So I ah, pulled it, man. Okay, we haven't hit driver in four weeks. So we've got the old Wilson staff out. Let's see how we do with that. Wow, what a drive. <laughs> now look at that. We had so many easy decisions the whole round. Like if I hit four iron from there, it's an easy six iron and then a wedge or something. Now I've got myself to 250 yards. Um, longer off the tee, but now I have a very strange layup because I've got bunkers everywhere and the trees are in my way. I can't get a 250 with a big draw into the breeze. So I'm going to have to lay up, but it's kind of a low layup now. Whereas with the iron, I'm in the fairway, very clear shot. So now I've got to finagle a shot here. Which is one of the frustrating parts about driver. Not when you're confident, but when you miss a few shots here and there, it adds up. So let's see if we can get this in play. A little punchy punch. Hopefully that stays short of that bunker. It should stay short of that bunker. Now I hope you don't mind at home if I just change out my, my panic golf ball from the tee. The Wilson Staff Titanium. I haven't seen one of these since the summer of 96. 
79, 60 degree from 79 yards. Going to give it a little three quarter wallop. Well, that's a little bit short, but that's what's going to happen. Partial wedges are the first thing to go when you haven't played in a while. So I've luckily over two days avoided them completely. This time I didn't. You must remember that. Come to me, come to me, come to me. Hey, that dragonfly. Because we have a dragonfly on the pin. He's uh, distracted. <laughs> nice free swing. That's a nice swing, really high. Could be short. No. No. Just seem to be missing the lines a little bit today. Commit to a line, I'm going to say inside right. Just boom it, and you've got the putt. You don't have to think too much about three footers. Just. So from this kind of lie, you might catch a bit of a flyer because we've got a bit of grass there between the ball, around the ball. We might not catch all the spin, but we're into the breeze. So that kind of negates the flyer lie a little bit. We're from 113, the pin's on the front, but if we go directly at the pin, the green runs out a lot. So if we go a bit further right, there's a lot more green behind our target line there. So I might go a little bit right, even try to hit a little draw ski. And if it comes off, good. If it doesn't, it goes straight on the green. Okay, so there we, we've hit the green. The problem is I can't control the distance with this. I'd prefer 120 yard shot, 125. So I just want to get it on the green. So we're not going to have close proximity with wedges now until we get a bit more confidential with them. <laughs> One of the toughest shots in golf is a, a pitch over bunker from Sandy Lie. How am I going to execute this? It's very soft and sandy underneath this grass. I guess open the face up, give it a whack a doodle. Wow, that's just a Tacoma wedge right there. Gang, huh? Super gang. Oh, I pushed it. I changed my mind at the end there. I changed my mind at the end. So we're still not loving the driver at the moment, so we're going to play with our Wilson Staff Titanium Golf Ball, the one from the summer of 96. And we're going to use it because like you, player, like you, I don't feel like losing my beautiful golf balls and I don't feel much confidence with the driver. I may hit it great, but I might not. Well, I guess that works. Too much sand. <laughs> oh, it 
works. I'm going to I'm not going to do the chip and run yet. I'm going to do the open face Eric. I feel like that's going to work nicely from here. That'll do. That'll do. Just a beauty of a shot. Just a beauty. Well, sometimes you win, sometimes you learn. <laughs>